thing, right? As I'm sure you heard, uh, Paul Pierce is going to retire at the end of this year. Yeah, I've heard that. Uh, I know you and Paul were very close, and you actually refer to him a lot um, when talking about the character and like leadership and all the things that we talk about and hear about in sports in general. Uh, I feel like he personifies a lot of those things. How do you, how do you feel about Paul Pierce? And if you can say something to him, what would you say? I mean, obviously, uh, you know, he's a great player, one of the greatest players in this league. You know, the fun part was uh, to learn from him uh, when we played pickup games for for practices we play one on one and I could learn a lot from him. That was you know that was a crucial thing for me. You know from the leader standpoint obviously it's different with me if I score twenty five thousand over twenty five thousand points in the league right. I'm gonna get the same respect. So you know what I'm saying it's not like all of a sudden he did something and he's like that you know he's all of a sudden respected more than me but you know it's if you score twenty five thousand points if you win a BA championship and if you if you're gonna make so many big shots then yeah, you're gonna get a lot of respect. But at the end of the day, I mean, uh, one thing, I, it's fun that one day I'm gonna be able to tell my kids that I did play with Paul Pierce. Yeah. You know, it was, it's definitely, uh, it was always uh, great great to have him as a teammate. You know, he was a tremendous guy. I mean, we had few, we got few, few spots in DC that we like to go to. I mean, he was only here for a year, but he made a huge impact on the fan base. I mean, between being at games and yeah, like he, his... Like I said, he was, uh, he, he was a tremendous guy. He was a tremendous guy. He, I love, I love the, 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 fighting spirit, the fighting spirit about him. I mean, he's just, he's yeah. just freaked about that. When it goes, when we go, when we talk about the com competitiveness and, and the part where you, com you have to compete and you have to beat somebody. I mean, he will not even let you wear, you know, LeBron shoes. I mean, yeah. He's such a freak to that point. Somehow that does not surprise me at all.